Hi everyone. Welcome to Sudhi's Pharma World. Today I am going to talk about Venturi meter. Here you can see the figure of Venturi meter. So this is another figure of Venturi meter that is used in industries. Venturi meter consists of two tapered sections. Here you can see one tapered section and the other section is here. In between these two tapered sections, there is a gradual construction. and this gradual construction is known as trot so this is venturi meter venturi meter consists of two tapered sections in between these two tapered sections there is a thin construction a gradual construction is there in between these two tapered sections and which is known as trot which is known as trot of venturi This venturi meter is installed in a pipeline between long straight pipe. This venturi meter is placed. Venturi meter is used to measure the flow rate of fluid that is flowing through this pipeline. When a fluid stream is allowed to pass through this narrow construction, at that time the velocity of the fluid in this region will be increases. Whenever this velocity increases, at that time. the pressure energy is decreases flowing fluid is associated with uh, three types of energy the first one is pressure energy second one is potential energy and the third one is kinetic energy a flowing fluid may uh, possess three types of energy and the sum of this three energy will be same in each and every point of that fluid okay that fluid may experience uh, the total energy that will be same in each and every point of that fluid uh, if you alter any form of energy for example if you are increasing the kinetic energy of that fluid then pressure energy and potential energy will compensate that increment in the kinetic energy okay at that time uh, pressure energy will be decreases and the total energy will be uh, remain same so this is what uh, bernoulli's theorem explain according to the principles of bernoulli's theorem the bernoulli's theorem provides the basis for correlating the increase in the velocity head with the decrease in the pressure head between two points so the variation in pressure head that we can uh, determine using a manometer which is connected to the venturi meter and the pipeline if uh, the diameter of the venturi is small as compared to the diameter of the pipeline then the velocity of the fluid at the point before it entered the venturi uh, may be considered as negligible in such cases our manometer reading will directly gives the velocity of the fluid that is passing through the venturi by using this formula we can determine the velocity of the fluid that is passing through the venturi u v equal to c v root of 2 g delta h this is a formula that is used to uh, measure the velocity of the fluid that is passing through the venturi here u v represent velocity of the throat of venturi c v represent the coefficient of venturi meter delta h is the difference in pressure head from manometer if we know the pressure head then we can substitute this value in the previous equation and we can find the velocity of the fluid passing through the pipeline now we have the value of pressure head and we know the velocity of the fluid that is passing through the pipeline if we know uh, the cross section of the pipeline too then we can easily find the flow rate okay then uh, we can easily uh, determine the amount of uh, liquid that is passing through the pipeline using some calculations so this is the principle involved in venturi meter now move on to the construction of venturi meter venturi meter consists of two tapered sections here you can see one tapered section and the other one is here in between these two tapered section there will be a gradual construction there will be a narrow construction and this construction is known as trot of venturi this is substream and this is downstream the upstream tapered section is short as compared to the downstream section and this uh, device is placed in between a long straight pipeline 
A manometer is connected between the two points uh, A and B. This manometer is used to measure the pressure variation in the upstream. Now move on to the working of venturi meter. As we know, venturi meter consists of uh, two tapered sections, the downstream section and the upstream section. In between the substream and downstream section, there will be a gradual constriction. A manometer is connected between the two points A and B. It is used to measure the pressure variation. When a liquid is uh, flowing through this narrow constriction, then uh, the velocity of the fluid in that region will be increases. Velocity increases, that means kinetic energy of the fluid will be increases in that region. So the pressure energy will be decreases. So due to this reduction in the pressure head will be occur. And this variation in pressure head uh, we can determine using this uh, manometer. And uh, by knowing the value of the pressure head, uh, we can substitute the value in this equation. Uh, we get the velocity of the fluid passing through this narrow constriction. If we know the cross section of the pipeline, then we can uh, easily uh, determine the amount of uh, liquid or amount of fluid that is passing through the pipeline. So this is the working procedure that is involved in venturi meter. On to the important applications of venturi meter, it is mainly used to measure the flow rate of liquids, especially in the case of water. It can also be used for the measurement of gases. Move on to the disadvantages. Venturi meter is more expensive. It requires more space for the occupancy. And the ratio of throat diameter to pipe diameter cannot be changed. So these are the important disadvantages of venturi meter. So in this presentation, we have covered the principal construction, working, disadvantages and important applications of venturi meter. Hope you all understand. If you like this kind of videos, please do support me. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button too. Thank you.